Hey guys, and welcome back to Paper Mario. In the last part, we met the Star Spirits, and we learned that Peach has, uh, um, teeth up there in the castle, because we didn't know that yet. Anyway, we're gonna go in this house because Merlon was calling to us. Merlon is out! Why do you keep knocking? I'm telling you, he's out! Ow! Oh, hi. What the? Why is someone sleeping on my- <laughs> Why is someone taking a nap in raspberry jam? <laughs> Can kill me by opening that door. Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. I'm only the most famous figure in this entire universe. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Stupid. Oh, well. Hey, what's up? Where to begin? Hey, can I have that star piece? That'd actually be useful. My name is Merlon. I am a wizard. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where, to, where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors would, uh, was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual... But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared and I standing face to face. Then the far away, the pious, was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then, believed in, but our hearts were. And then, so. I love that. And then, Mario's asleep. And that is all that matters. Huh? Hey! Mario! Were you listening to me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, alright. So anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save the princess as quickly as possible. As humanly possible. But, according to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bro Fortress, head to east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay. Thanks. That's all you had to say. Just go to the fortress. Whatever. Whoa! Black Toads! That's very rare. You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bro's Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't ask. go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Am I ch am I channeling Captain Kirk? Is that it? Is it a Shatner voice? I don't even know. Well, I mean, it's not like the speaking habit. It's not that, but it's just the voice itself. Come again? Stray Toad's blocking the side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never. No one's ever blocked a road in Toad Town. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. I'm pretty sure you can actually beat him there. Let's see. I think you can. Let's see. Come on. Aha! I'm gonna win! I'm gonna win! Oh yeah, I beat you. I told you you can't... I told you that you can't pass. Take off! Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone. We're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Harry Potter. Stereotypical Harry Potter phrase. Ugh. Hmph, just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How, how'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shooks. Black. Yellow. Green. We retreat. For now. <laughs> Whatever. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Brothers Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need the help of a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Okay. You know, wait a minute. What do you do in there? All you had was a little thing. Like the... Oh, whatever. Chapter 1, Storming Koopa Brothers Fortress. Uh, what does he have in there? All he had was that fortune-telling ball, so... What? Oh, Koopa! Oh, man, I couldn't jump on him. Okay. 
This is the introduction of a Koopa. Here, let's go ahead and tattle on him, I guess. Tattle, Koopa Troopa. I love the shade, that's cool. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's followers. Max HP 4, attack power 1, and defense power 1. Their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to 0 and will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a power block or a jump attack. Okay, so, um, what you want to do, this is the easiest way to fight them. Go ahead and just attack them with a jump, action command, flip them, and then you get an extra hit. And they will be stuck on their back for a turn. And there's me defending. Or defending. Alright. Bonk. Bonk. And now, let's go ahead and just... Uh, yeah, let's just tap the head bonk them. I don't care. And in this game, um... You don't need to worry about getting, like, specials or anything. Because in Paper Mario 2... In Paper Mario 2, if you beat enemies the right way and get stylish attacks, you'll get added uh, star power. But that is not in this game, so we don't have to worry about that. So don't worry about beating enemies in a super special awesome way. Aha! You're dead. And in this game, um, this game is also different from Paper Mario 2, that you can't get a, um, you can't get an action command on a first strike. It'll always just be that one regular attack. Now, if you watched my Paper Mario 2 uh, go through, uh, you'll know that I had a lot of trouble with the action commands in that game. But in this game, I'm actually really good at the action commands. So go figure. Uh, boom. Alright. So go ahead and hammer him. And once again, the fights are very, very easy. It's pretty... Until you get into a dungeon... Where there's puzzle. Oh, dang it, I missed it. Until you get into a dungeon where there's puzzles and stuff, you're not really going to be seeing anything too interesting just yet. So, yeah. I'm just going to jump on him. I always... I prefer using the, the jump just because it's a little bit faster than the hammer. It's just, it takes less time to do. So anyway, we're going to get a badge here. We are going to get a dizzy attack badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Uh, I never use that, so... We're not really going to be seeing that, so, yeah. Anyway, ooh, fight jar. Woot. Uh, was there something there? I don't remember. Anyway, hit that. Power block. Very, very useful. Smack. And we get a switch. Jump on switch. And we get a bridge. Spoilers. All right. There we go. And we can just immediately flip a Koopa. Sweet. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, flip this one so we don't have to worry about possible damage, and then we're just gonna jump on the first one. Okay, so, when you're fighting Koopas, they're pretty easy. All you gotta do is just flip them, because they can't attack and they're 100% defenseless. So, if you can just get all the Koopas on screen flipped, then you'll be good. It'll be a very easy fight. And they're uh, down for two turns. So, if you can just flip them, they're pretty much dead. As long as you're decent with action commands. Because then you can just get two damage every turn. Anyway. Um, just like I said before, you do want to... Oh. Oh, no, no! Oh, I didn't know where he was going to fall. I saw him on there, but I didn't know where he was going to go. Okay. Um, well, Goombario is actually completely useless here. Because all he can do is jump. And you can only damage these guys with... What's it called? So what we're going to do... We're just going to head bonk them. Ouch. <laughs> and this is what happens when your party member gets hurt. You're injured and you can't move. Ow, ow, dang, I couldn't action command it. But as you can see, when a party member gets hit, uh, they are just down and they can't move. They don't have health bars. Although in Paper Mario 2, they have their own health bars and stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, star points, moving on. Yay, mushroom. Ugh, come on. So many enemies. Uh, if the enemies start getting um, too common, then I'll probably start cutting out fights. Or if the battles get really, really long. Because I know people won't just want to sit around and watch these all day. But, nah, I don't know. Go ahead and leave a comment if you'd prefer uh, either one of those options. Should I cut them out, or should I just show all the fights? Because the, the fights in this game are pretty quick. Anyway, as you can see, we have a star piece over there that we can't jump to. 
So, I'll have to get that somehow. Somehow, some other way. And what's this? Say sleepy sheep. Yay. Uh, uh, I care so much. Ah, screw you. Yay. Oh, jeez, dude. Okay. Now I kind of wish I had that, um, what's it called? Oh, uh, what is it? You know, the fire flower. That would have helped. There we go. Go ahead and just take him out instantly. That'll help. I'm gonna go ahead and jump with the Paragoomba. Yay, and you're dead. Awesome. And now we just need to kill the Spike Goomba. There we go. When you block it, you only take one damage. So, you definitely want to try to block these, because these hit hard for right now. At least until you can bring your HP up. Yes! I love the way he does that with his hand. I don't even know why. It just looks kind of funny to me. Oh, hey, coin block. Yay. Come on, come on, thank you. Okay. So, oh, right here, this is kind of funny. All right, Toe Town, all right, now. See this thing, how it's watching me? Run around it. Yay! So, you just run around it and it'll spit out hearts for you. And back here, we have a honey syrup. Very nice. Now, uh, okay, you can't hit them. Okay. So run around that and you'll get some hearts. Now, you want to come down here first, because this is the way we got to go. Um, let me see here. There's a way you need to break these blocks. I think it's right, left, and then... Okay, no, it's the other way. Herp and derp. No cutscene, no cutscene, no cutscene. Ah, it's a cutscene! Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village. I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? Madness! This is... Yeah, this is madness. This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. So... Okay, so wait, 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 wait. Mario's looking up. Does that mean they know that there's text bubbles? Okay. Mean guys, they're really naughty. How do you know? Bonk! Ah, I took your pants! Oh no, stupid fuzzy, come back here with my shell! Nope, not helping. Don't care. <laughs> Alright, so, left, right, up. Aha, there you go, left, right, up, you get this badge block, and we get the attack FXB badge! Alright, and changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. Let's see. Let's, so, let's see what that does. These attack FX ones, they cost nothing. So, yeah. That's pretty funny. Uh, but I'm not gonna have that one just because it'll get old. Alright, there we go. So, let's get back in here and help. Oh, wow. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Go ahead. Hit <clears throat> go ahead and hit the fuzzy, and then he will get his shell back. Boom. Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. Just, just. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from the fuzzies, alright? Oops, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. You know, overalls are harder to take off than a shell. There's your shell, whiny. Just get your freaking shell on. Come on. Thank you. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. Come on. Nope. Ugh. I will hit these fuzzies. Alright. Let's see. Curse those stupid fuzzies. They put my shell in the tree. Hey, hey, this is a Nintendo game. No cursing. All right, how can they be so how can they be so mean for no reason? That was my best shell. How many shells do you have? Why do you have Oh, well, wait a minute. I guess they are technically just closed to Koopa or Koopas. No, no, no. No, no. Wait. No. Ugh. I will hit this fuzzy. Hang on. I'm going to cut to when I hit this fuzzy. I don't even care. I will hit this fuzzy. Aha! Got him! Sweet! Die! Die! Aha! He disappeared. Cool. I knew I would get him. Okay. Um. That one you gotta actually sneak up on for whatever reason. You just gotta walk slow. Okay. Thank you! Typical Mario style. You're just as cool as I heard you were. Okay. Even though I've killed I God knows how many of your kind. Alright, so we gotta push this block. Push it right under. Kaboom. And we're done. Easy. 
All right. I might have known you're so clever, Mario, to push something under something and then jump up on that something to hit the something that you pushed it under. Hey, another fuzzy. What's up? <laughs> now go ahead and come in this house. Who's there? I'm kind of busy right now. <gasps> A blue shell! What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are. My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you'll help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which, next to my life, is the most important thing I have. Wow. So, clothing is the most important thing you have outside your life. You need to get laid. I can't get without my... Wait, I can't go without my shell. Period. It's way too embarrassing. Well, it's a good thing you're totally not outside now, otherwise that would be way too embarrassing. The problem is, the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario, looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. All right. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him, like, whoop. Okay. I didn't know grabbing someone made a whoop sound. Me York. All right, we must chase him. I'm behind his house. Come on, I'll get you. Ah, we got a badge there that we can't get just yet. Come on. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Boeing. Now this is. I like these kinds of puzzles. I don't know about you guys. New York, New York. Come get it if you can. Yeah, yeah. Okay. New York. Guess where I'm hiding. Okay. Okay, so you just follow him and smack. There we go. Mio, not bad, chump. But that was just a warm up. And he does actually get very fast. Mio, guess where I'm hiding? All right, same place. Haha, <laughs> sucker. York, Miork, you got me twice. Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Now this is one actually really quickly. Mior, guess what I'm hiding? Oh, that's easy. Bonk. Haha. <laughs> Mio, no! I give, Uncle! Here, take the stupid shell. You got Cooper's shell. Yay. You're too tough for me. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. No, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Alright. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. What reputation is that, by the way? We never, we don't know. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm going to show these fuzzies what's what. We already got the shell back. Too slow. <laughs> nope. What? You have my shell, but you won't give it back? What's the matter with you? Nope. What's that's just plain cruel? Please give it back to me. A Koopa without a shell is like a really unhappy Koopa. Nope. That's just oh okay. I wanted to see what else he said. There you go. Oh yes, yes. This is my shell, all right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got my shell back. Uh huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Yay. Woo, my clothing. Good to hear you're happy. Now help us. Say, Mario. I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? No. Naturally, he's a Koopa, a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Isn't that pretty much every archaeologist? Was he's the Indiana Jones of Koopa? Z Koopas. Right, well, I live right next to him. I'd been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was in my egg, which makes absolutely perfect sense. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So, do you think... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Hmm... I think we could make him without it. Oh, come on, you gotta! I have lots of skills, I work well with others, really, please take me along! Nope! Oh, come on! Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, I'm on my way! Alright, I swear I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the Earth! Cooper, join your party! Na -na -na -na. Okay, now, press C down to make him throw himself and reach an item or distance switch. While in battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with Shell Toss, or attack all enemies on the ground with Power Shell. When you want to switch your partner, press C to the right and select the party member you want to use. Yay. Now, 
Now that we have Cooper, we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. So in the next part, we're gonna head on back to Koopa Village and figure out what else we need to do to get into the Koopa Brothers Fortress. So, see you guys next time.